Hello, my name is Josh Keller. I'm the owner of NCE Exam Prep. Just wanted to share with you a quick video helping you understand what's up with the bell curve. I get a lot of questions about this when people are working their way through the statistics chapters in their study manuals, so I hope that this is a helpful video uh, so that you can understand what's up with the bell curve. So basically, the bell curve is a type of graph that's used to visualize the way that data is distributed. The data depicted has a central average indicated by the peak of the curve, and low and high extremes indicated by the tails on either side of the curve. So how do we get to the bell curve? That's an important question to understand uh, that'll make your uh, comprehension of statistics a little bit easier. So suppose you have some data from a test. Each one of these colored blocks represents a piece of information uh, from a respondent. Uh, in this particular test, uh, there were a hundred different respondents, and so each one of these uh, colored squares represents their score on the test. It's not organized at all. Not much can be done with this information, and it, it just needs to be organized. So let's group the like scores together. Grouping scores like this makes it easier to see how the data is varied. Looking at how the colored blocks are organized here and grouped, we can see that the bluish green color and the uh, red color had more, and you can kind of compare those two to how all of the other scores did as well. But what if we organized it further based on what score each color represented? Now we can see that each uh, colored block has an actual numbered score. That makes it a little bit easier to see uh, how the data compares to each other. And now when we organize the scores in order, we can see that the way that they're distributed a little bit more easily. See, so we have a range here that goes all the way from 31 to 69. And we can see all those scores in between and, and how they compare to each other. Well, it's not hard to see how this uh, organization makes a jump to what we start to see uh, like a bell curve shape um, emerging. If we created a line drawing using the total number of each score, you can see how that bell curve is created. And so that's, that's kind of how we arrive at the bell curve, obviously. Uh, it's going to vary depending on the data that you're studying. This is not a perfect curve, um, but you can definitely see that bell shape with the average scores, 49 and 51 being the most there in the center, and it trailing off towards the side at the high and the low extremes. So that's what's up with the bell curve and how we arrive at that. Um, we just finished a, a section on this in the group tutoring. Uh, anybody that signs up for the group tutoring can access our video replays. So if this is something that you feel like you need some additional help on, feel free to jump on the group tutoring every Tuesday at 530 Central is when we do that tutoring and you have access to all the replays. Additionally, if you purchase one of my guaranteed study packages, you get enrolled for a limited time. Uh, we're offering the group tutoring with that guaranteed study package, and you get to come to every tutoring session, watch all the replays. You can get more information about that guaranteed study package and the group tutoring at my website, www.nceexamprep.com. Also, feel free to reach out to me if you have additional questions. Info at nceexamprep.com is my email address. Thanks so much for tuning in.